That's probably like the first time a man said that to you in a long time, though, right, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. All right, Henry Confidential, we're doing a team tester for potential tournament that I'm going to try and conjure up. So right now we have team The Hateful Greats and Mike and Madi. Hi, not going to waste time on intros because, you know, just a tester. Me and Malcolm. Malcolm's not going to say a word because he's the silent assassin. I'm trying to get him to call himself that because Case is the assassin, so F him. He's the silent one because Case don't shut up. All right, you guys cam off, and then we'll go over to those guys. All right, and now we have team take three and Chris and Case. That's what I love to see. All right, Case perfect. Case looking buckwild. All right, so this was good. Nice, <laughs> nice introductions. We love everybody, blah, blah, blah. Chris, right. you sober yet? We, we suck each other's dick. Yeah, we know. Shut up. Phenomena. Phenomena. Jesus, just fuck already. All right. Just... All right, Malcolm, me and you are going to cam off, and then Mike and Medea come back. <clears throat> yeah. All righty, so here's what we got. It's going to be seven questions. Going to whiteboard it up. So go ahead and uh, write this down. Seven. It's a good time to tell you I can't write anything, right? So, <laughs> so, it's, so it's essentially like the first round of the Shmo down. It's one last question. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I just like the number seven because, you know, it's my fourth favorite movie, which unfortunately got brought down. <laughs> All right. Where are you going with this? <laughs> it's so sad. All right. First question. Who directed Die Hard 2 under the category of action? Fuck me. It's sad that this is one of this director's only good flicks. Fuck. Yeah. Sorry. In case they can't all be Star Wars. Yeah, no. Um, Malcolm, free for, feel free to just say random quips. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if Malcolm can talk still. I still think that he's just got someone talking next to him. I'm telling you, silent it. assassin. It's, 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 it should stick. <laughs> Malcolm has said five right. words since you three, were born. Three, two, one. Take three. Let's see what you guys got. Rennie Harlan. Nothing. Nothing. Hateful greats. Who cares? Martin Campbell. <laughs> I had no clue. <laughs> All right, one point for take three. Hey, good work, Chris. Second question under the comment. <laughs> under I am more than happy to carry the weight. <laughs> says that about a lot too. What star of the TV of the TV's shows? Oh, Jesus Christ, this was written weird. In you wrote the damn thing. No, Jeremy wrote it. Chill out. What star of that '70s show starred in 2011? Take me home tonight. There we go. We got there. Take me home tonight. Yeah. I don't want to let you go till you see the Never seen night. this movie. I'm just going to guess. Three, two, one. Hateful Greats. Kofa Grace. Ah, Mark Topher Ellis Grace. equals Topher Grace. Yeah, nice. I like it. Take three. Topher Grace. Uh, I guessed Ashton Kutcher, and I should have gone with Dr. Grace. That is not a terrible guess. Tie game. Tie game, two to two. What, what? Fantasy films. <laughs> the movies The Wizard and Big Fat Liar have sequences filmed in, Cal in what California theme park? I love how you ask a Canadian this question. Repeat the question. The Wizard and Big Fat Liar have sequences filmed in what California theme park? I don't even know what theme parks you guys have. I'm like, <laughs> I'm fucking Dutch. Read, read a history like, book. I don't. You have to be living in America I, I, for it. I, I can't even guess my way out of this fucking thing. Go, go get yourself an almanac or something. I don't know. All right, three, two. Oh, <laughs> shit. No, repeat it one more time. Repeat it one more time. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, JTE, chill the fuck out. All right. The movies The Wizard and Big Fat Liar have sequences filmed in what California theme park? Take three. <laughs> Universal Studios. Hateful Greats. Universal Studios. Yep. All right. Once again. That's Florida. No. There's a park out. I've been, I've been to the Florida one. I haven't. Four to I'm three. Brown, Hateful Greats. All right. Under horror, in 1994's Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, who played the monster? Sorry, yes. Did you say whore or horror? Whores. Whores. 
<laughs> all the whores. And yes, all Chris, it is, it is 1994, not 1992. Fuck. Or the other way around. <laughs> 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 Sorry, repeat the question. In 1994's Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, who played the monster? This is a monster mash. This is a mash. Five, four, three, two, one. Take three. Total no, gas, Jeff Goldblum. That was not right. Uh, <laughs> that would have been was, awesome. That would be Jeff awesome, too. Both of those would be awesome in different ways. Hateful greats. Uh, Robert De Niro? Donald Trump is the correct, <laughs> incorrect answer. <laughs> Robert De Niro, for real, though. Five to three, hateful greats. Yeah, you hate to love. Are we us. actually winning? Yeah, we are. I mean, yeah, you are. <laughs> I, 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 I suck at trivia. That is not Star Wars. Yeah, but yet you're ranked higher than uh, Ryan, so he should feel even more like shit then. Guys, fair, he's, not that, guys... he's not that great either. Wow. Wow. <laughs> too much shade in the we'll take three. We'll cut that out. Don't worry. No, I'm going to keep that in there. Shade for the take three and tag him too. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Actors and actresses. Name two films directed by Ron Howard that star Tom Hanks. And there are a possible two films? four. Out of possible four. I can name you all four of them. Well, whatever. Case. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. You said directed by Ron Howard. What did you think I said? I thought you said Robert Zemeckis for some reason. No. I didn't even say a letter <laughs> Z in that sentence. Yeah, shush. <laughs> that, by the way. That's why this is a fun uh, tester match, because we can fuck around. Five, four, three. Two, one. Hateful oh. greats. Apollo 13, Da Vinci Code. Castaway and Apollo 13. Uh, Castaway, no, that's nope. incorrect. Yep. Uh, Apollo 13, The Da Vinci Code, Eight Angels and Demons, and Inferno. I only had Apollo 13. Damn. I totally forgot about that shit trilogy. Oh. Damn it, Chris. Six Let to four. You have tied it. Queen Dot Case of Mark for putting all four of them down. I would have I would have not counted if one of those four had been wrong just to be a dick. <laughs> like you want to say four? <laughs> you better get them all right then. Yeah, but I got them all right. No, you did. Congratulations. What MC in a drama? Movie. What MCU actor co-starred with Jamie Foxx in 2008's The Soloist? I actually really like this movie. I do not. This and Rain Over Me are two interesting similar Rain Over movies. Now, is good. now that is a good movie. Yeah. Did you know Adam yes. Sandler is a, doing a comedy drama later this year? Oh, wow. Another is one. Is it going to suck? Most likely. I don't know. I, I watched the thing, and it, it, it was under long shots, but he was could be Oscar contender. It was at least under long shots, but it's like maybe he was just yeah, good enough. Yeah, because no one's seen the movie screen. yet, and they're hopeful that maybe Adam Sandler knows what hey, he's doing shut again. Shut your face. Take three. Uh, Pierre Robert Downey Jr. All right. Robert Downey Jr. All right. Wow. Eight to five. Three point lead now. See, I, I don't know. Movies. I suck at trivia. All right, your last question in the first round. Volunteered for this. <laughs> I, he kind of just got dragged into, and I'm appreciative. So leave <laughs> him alone before he backs out and fucks it all up. <laughs> Superhero films. What Marvel character was played by Sam Elliott and William Hurt? Uh, okay, pass away, Michael. Kick it is. Do you Five. need the full name or just like the title? I'll accept thing? whatever you write, probably. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Hateful greats. Can you make that lead amazing? Didn't have it. General Ross. All right. Take three. Thunderbolt General Thunderbolt Ross. Ross. You got Thunderbolt, both of you guys. I'm proud of you. Because that's what was yeah. written on my answer. Nine to seven. Nice. Come back. This was good. All right. Moving on to the second round. So what we're going to do for the second round is it's going to be similar to if you watch Screen Junkies um, movie games. We're going to ask you five potential trivia questions, and they're going to get easier as you go. So we're going to have a really hard one worth 10 points. Then you can get another one, an technically a clue, but it's a trivia question, worth eight points, and it goes all the way down to two. So <clears throat> the Hateful Greats, you guys are in the lead. Do you want to go first or second? I'm good with either one, man. We'll go second. I want to see them do it first. All righty. Let's make sure I got this. Real right. quick, Malcolm, you still alive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys went second. 
Yeah, yeah we're going to. Right. So uh, you guys can uh, cam off, and Malcolm will come back just to add some variety. Oh, look at that. Just see if this works. If not, we'll stick with you guys for the whole time. Malcolm, come back. Baby, come back. I want to see your uh, face. Henry, you as well, then. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> so, you guys are going first. You want um, Maintain move? professionalism. You guys want the uh, first? Uh, how, how does this work? You guys, it's like collaborating. So, you guys just decide. Like, if either of you know the answer based on the first question, then you guys can answer right. it. But it's a risk. If you miss it, you don't get any points, obviously. So, if any point right. you miss it, yeah. you lose all the point options. So, do you want uh, movie A or movie B? What do you want? Uh, let's take movie B. All righty. Your first question. The hard Brave question. choice, guys. The hard question, supposedly, you know, it's always fun. What film has a strip club owner played by Larry Bishop? Do you know it? Do you want to take the next question? Are you going to tell us the answer if we skip to the next one? Um, no, because that's, that's only one movie. It's all the same movie. You yeah, just, no, it, it's one movie. And yeah, you just get five just questions asks from it. Easier they get, questions as they go along. Yeah, like, they this was a really hard question. Easy. We don't know it yet, so I think we need the next question. Wow. Okay, we'll go to the next one, but um, I all, think I know it. It's all strategy, so yeah, it's, it's similar. All right, so now your second question. Now this would be worth eight points. What movie has a major scene inside a coffin? I probably haven't seen this. Remember, you, uh, it's the same movie, so think of the first, the first question and the first and the second question. Yeah, no, uh, uh, ne neither of these ring a bell to me. It's so. not what I thought it was initially, but you want to do the next question? Yeah, let's do it. All right, your third one. <clears throat> this movie has martial arts sequences. <gasps> uh. Yeah. Uh, you guys are allowed to collaborate, so I mean, go one, for it. Just say go answer. For it. Kill Bill Volume Two. That is Kill Bill Volume Two. Six points. Very nice. Malcolm, are you reading the paper as you're doing this? What's <laughs> 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 in the news today, man? <laughs> we do have internet nowadays, buddy. <laughs> All right, take care. If you, guys, if you guys want to cam out, and we'll bring in the hateful greats. <clears throat> See, for some reason, from the first question, I thought it was going to be Showgirls, but I'm like, nope. Dude, that would have been a tough loss right there. All right. The Hateful Greats. Do this, You guys got stuck with the other movie. Your first question. In what film does Saul Rubinek play a reporter named Beauchamp? Beauchamp. Or Beauchamp. But I think it's Champ. You haven't oh, seen this movie, have you? Me? Yeah, I have. I just... It could go either way, so I, I figured I'd word it. You know, pe people you have call any idea? people call Han and Han right. in the Star Wars movies. So <laughs> let's do the next uh, question. All right. Hopefully in what film is there a character named the Schofield Kid? Uh, I'm glad the level of difficulty is faring right because I didn't write these. It's always scary when you have someone else write questions. Five. I four, go to the next four. one. Next one. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's do it. What 1992 film won Best Picture? Unforgiven. There. Got your six point oh, error as well. There you go, man. <laughs> both got six there. Yeah. All right. So going into the third round, it is 15 to 13. Oh, shit. There's more of this? All right. Uh, just, just one more, just one more, buddy. Just one more, buddy. Alrighty, because I didn't, I didn't update the wheel. You're just gonna have to pick a number one through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One through eleven. So, go ahead and uh. Uh, don't take, we get to go first because yeah, take, we're behind. Yeah, take three is gonna go first. So, um, hateful grades yeah. cam out, and then take right. three. All right. through 11. So take three. Uh, do, get... do, do, we get, do we get a second chance if we don't like the first category? No. So what it is, how, how it's really going to go is I'm going to spin the wheel, 
and then whatever it lands on, you guys have to collaborate who's going to get that one. And they're both worth. Oh. It's going it, to happen twice, and they're both worth two points. So it's not we're going to keep that even. It's just it's kind of the risk of, you know, like shit. We both know that category. Neither of us know it, but you also have another one. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So whoever wants uh, to pick that, a number. Yeah, between one and eleven. Uh, do you have a number? Uh, let's. Uh, does number eight sound good? Sure. Okay, number eight. All right, that's going to be on the category of drama. Who wants to take that? I'll take it. I mean, (laughs) under drama to tie the game. What mental disorder does Bradley Cooper's character suffer from in Silver Lightning's playbook? (laughs) Yes, I love team matches. Yes. (laughs) Fuck me. Yes. (laughs) Five. Four. Repeat the question. What mental disorder does Bradley Cooper's character suffer from in Silver Linings Playbook? How many J-E-T-E rules Obsess- does get this in? Five, four. <laughs> Obsessive compulsive disorder. Ooh, looking for bipolar. All right, so st- sticking with take three. Pick a number one through 11 and eight is off the table, as you guys would say. Nine. Nine? Now this, now, this is to tie it again. Comedy. What 90s Saturday Night Live character person starred in Beverly Hills Ninja and Almost Heroes? Ah! I chose this and I don't. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> this is going to work. This is going to work. Oh my Five. God. <laughs> All right, that's your guys' last one, because why not? Oh. What 90s 70 night, Saturday Night Live star starred in Beverly Hills Ninja and Almost Heroes? Uh, sorry, oh, <laughs> excuse easy. me. Five. That was a lot less than I thought it was going to be. Three. Two. Nathan Philly. Uh, Chris Farley. Chris Farley. Uh, all right. I Rest in peace, heard of that person. All right. So now this is going to be. Oh, for my God. You got to look more at Chris Foley stuff, man. All right. This is going to be for five points now. Pick a so number. We got two more, right? No. Now it's just one, and you guys collaborate. Yeah. So now you guys, this is what have been beneficial in the first two for both of you. So pick a number, not eight or nine, to take the lead. Uh, on Chris. Don't five. pick seven or ten. Be five. creative. One, two, three, four. Under the category of science fiction. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what Oscar winner played the en- enigmatic Harry Tuttle in 1985's Brazil? And remember, when you guys collaborate, just say answer before it's officially answered. So you guys can talk because it's Okay, uh, so the enigmatic... Either Jonathan Price or Robert De Niro... Can we get the character name one more time? Harry Tuttle. Okay. Answer. Jonathan Price. I'm going to tip my hat off to you, fellas. Because you played well, but not well enough. Woo! The hateful grades are coming in. <laughs> We're picking ass and taking names. <laughs> so, uh, so it was Robert it De Niro. It was Robert De Niro is what we were looking for. So TKO, 15 to 13. Take three if you guys can cam off so I can talk to the Hateful Greats for a second. <laughs> hateful Greats. How do you guys feel? I didn't even have to answer your third round questions. Are we done now? I'm, I'm, doing, a, I'm doing a little bit of interview because I want to have some fun with it because it's not official, but I want, I want to see if people like it too. So, wow, you, it was good, man. You guys, you guys liked Chris, it? Think it could work? Oh, yeah, no, it, Case, perfect. you know, we'll work on it. But... <laughs> I was good. No, I love these guys, man. It's good. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. All right, then uh, you guys cam off. I'll talk to them real quick, and then we'll say our goodbyes. Aw. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, so what did you guys think? This was last minute. It's just for fun, but it was a lot of fucking fun. Do you guys think it could work? A, a legit the tournament? The loss does count on your record. Uh, uh, no, le- 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 legit. I think this could work. Fucking A, man. I, I suck at movie trivia that I haven't seen, and I haven't seen a whole lot of fucking movies because I like the movies that I watch, and I don't like the movies that I haven't watched because I've watched most of the movies that I'm like, oh, no, that's my type of movie. Yep. All 
All right, so I haven't I haven't seen fucking horror. <laughs> I haven't seen fucking bad action adventure movies. I'm with you I on that, buddy. Seen fucking dramas. I am with. So... I, I do like drama, so I'm with you on horror and action. I I'm. And Case has only seen in nine movies in his life, and they're all called Star Wars. Wow, shade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, here, here's where I'm gonna get. Uh, this. Apparently, I've also seen Apollo 13, Inferno, Angels and Demons, and The Da Vinci Code because I was the only. I thought you said you didn't like bad movies. You went yeah. and watched the entire. Yeah, mi- yeah, Mr. Here. Castaway. <laughs> oh, I didn't know Ron Howard directed Castaway. Anyway, anyway. Oh, right. Yeah. That's All right. Like it. Here's my final announcement. Hopefully, people got this far into the video, and here's my announcement. Good this for works. Them. I think this worked. Now I'm calling out everybody. I want 64 total people which is going to be 32 teams. I want to make this big because it's the internet. Schedules are rough. I want to stretch this out. I want to do two matches a week. So it's not, it does not, it's crazy. I did the math. It's going to be about four months long. So, I mean, that's not terrible, but out of 64 people, it's going to work. So first I want to have the 64 people. And then after we get a list of the 64, then we'll start doing teams. So if you already have someone in mind or make a list of people you have in mind and then just hope that they're on there. So we'll go from there exactly how we're going to do the team process. I'm not going to make it. I'll let you guys decide who you want to be your team because it's all about chemistry. But I do want to make it fair to everybody who's been a part of There Will Be Trivia, Take 3. I want I want those guys to be first because that's just, you know, that's that's home. So we're hopefully this works. We're going to get the call out. Watch this. It's not that long. I haven't even edited. I'm not even going to edit this. It's at 21, in min, 21 minutes and counting. So, I mean, it's not that bad. And that, and this was us with all of us fucking around. We made that work in 21 minutes. So I think this is going to work. It's going to be more professional. Yeah, we're going to, we could get more professional, but as far as time wise, 21 minutes with this format, I think it could work and it could be a lot of fun. 15 to 13 is a good score. You know, I, we don't know for sure, but that just sounds like a solid score. So, Hey, Henry confidential here. Originally there'll be trivia. I'm pretty sure this might, if this, if this comes through, we're going to take this place instead of season three. Well, we're do, um, there will be trivia seasons. Take a break, and we'll do the team. So hopefully this works. Calling you guys out. Let's have some fun. Fi- talk to your friends. See who knows what, and let's let's get some teams going. So thank you very much, and you know let's hopefully get this started after season two ends. So it's still going to be a couple months away till we start. Bye. <laughs>